Hi. Let's read this book today. The title is The Traveling Pillow. Hmm. Does a pillow can travel? How? Let's find out. The Traveling Pillow by Beverly Swerlow Brown, illustrated by Margaret Janet Ott. Look at these materials. Can you see this? You're right. Yarn, scrap materials, buttons, ribbons, and needle. So I think this is the material that we need to make a pillow. Panda look in the closets, then she look in some drawers. Finally, she found what she was looking for, scraps of material and yarn. I'm going to make a pillow, she said, and happily began to shoe. Wow, three days later, Panda was done. This is a terrific pillow, she said, but what should I do with it? She thought and thought. I'll give the pillow to Mouse, said Panda. She collects them. Panda rode on a bus to Mouse's house. There, the mouse in her house. Here is a pillow I made, said Panda. I thought that you might like it. Thank you, said Mouse, raising her eyebrow at the strange looking cushion. It's really different. Panda smiled and went home. Now, said Mouse, if only I can think of somewhere to put it. She looked around and put the pillow on a rocker. Hmm, no, that doesn't look right, she said. Then she put the pillow on a footstool. Hmm, no, that doesn't look right either. So she put the pillow on the floor. Hmm, no. That doesn't look right at all, she shy. What should I do with it? She thought and thought. Aha, I'll give the pillow to Mole, said Mouse. He'll find a use for it. Mouse went over to her neighbor's yard. Here's a wonderful pillow for you, she said. Gee, thanks said Mole, squinting and sniffing at it. Mouse smiled and went home. Hmm, thought Mole, dragging the pillow back to his burrow. This will make a scrumptious bed. But no matter how hard he poked or squeezed or pushed, the pillow just would not fit through his door. Oh dear, he sighed. Now, what should I do with it? He thought and thought. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm having a yard sale tomorrow, he said. I'm sure someone will buy it. Look, there's the yard sale. The next day, Mo put the pillow out in front of his yard with his other things. Look. Let's take a look of the things that he sells. There's a chair with $40, books with 10 cents each, coat with $50 each, and this drawer, $20, and record for $1 each, and the pillow for $15. What a nice price. A little while later, Giraffe drove by. When he saw the pillow, he said, That is magnificent! It belongs in my museum! Giraffe paid Mole, picked up the pillow, and drove away. Hmm, where should I put this? He thought, walking through the museum. He looked all around and put the pillow on a pedestal. Look at the pedestal. Hmm. 
Hmm, no, that's not right, he said. Then he put the pillow in a glass case. No, that's not right either. So he hung the pillow up on a wall where only he could see it. Ah, yes, he sighed. That's just right. While Giraffe was admiring the pillow, Crow flew by the window and picked in. She grinned. I must have that pillow, she thought. It will make a fabulous nest. Just then, Giraffe's phone rang. When he went to answer it, Crow flew into the museum, plucked the pillow off the wall, and flew out of the window with it. Criminy! cried Crow, flying lower and lower. This thing is really heavy. First, she tried to hold the pillow with her feet, but that didn't work. Then, she tried to grasp the pillow in her beak, but that didn't work either. And when she tried to balance it on her back, that didn't work at all. The pillow slipped off and dropped right in front of Pig, who was on his way to the park. What a neat pillow, he said, surprised. He picked it up and hugged it to his chest. It's so nice and soft, he said. Then he juggled it on his nose. It's so light and bouncy too. Next, he tossed the pillow into the air and when it came down, it landed on his head. This is fun, he laughed. Crow grumbled as he hovered over Pig. Oh, well, he can have that dumb old pillow for all I care. And away she flew while Pig skipped merrily along. He was having such a good time, he didn't see Elephant and bump smack into him. Elephant caught his breath. <gasps> My, he said, but... That's a marvelous pillow you are wearing. Thank you, said Pig smiling. I think your straw hat is pretty nifty too. Really? said Elephant. Then, would you be willing to trade your pillow for my hat? Pig thought and thought. Why not? he said, and each got what he wanted. Then, Pig skipped off while Elephant trotted across town to his office. Look at the clock. It's two o'clock. By the time he got there, he was so tired he could hardly keep his eyes open. <gasps> oh, now where can I put this pillow? Oh, um, he yawned. Sleepily, he pressed the pillow to the file cabinet. But when he leaned against it, the pillow squished. Gosh, he sighed. This won't do. Then, Elephant put the pillow on the water cooler and laid his head on top of it. As he was dozing off, the water cooler went glug, glug, and woke him up. This won't do either, he mumbled. So, Elephant put the pillow on the coat rack and draped his trunk over it. Soon, he was snoring, when suddenly, his trunk tumbled to the floor with a thump. Elephant jumped. Oh, this won't do at all, he snorted. What should I do with this pillow now? He thought and thought. I know, he said. I'll give the pillow to my sister. She sells one of a kind things in her store. The next day, Elephant brought the pillow to her. Thanks said his sister. I sure I don't have anything like this. That afternoon, Panda passed by the store. Something caught her eye. She looked in the window. My word, she gasped. A pillow just like the one I made. I'll buy it and give it to Mouse. Then, she will have two pillows exactly alike. So, what do you think? Do you think mouse will have two pillows exactly alike? Yep. Well, you have the answer.
So if you enjoy reading this book with us, don't forget to subscribe our channel to read and listen other stories. And keep reading!